Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Ann Mitchell and I'm going to be talking about Trello for teachers and tutors. Okay, um, let me share my screen. There we go. Okay, so Trello for teachers and tutors. Ann. Thank you for inviting me. And today we're gonna to learn how to use Trello and keep your online business organized for both teachers and tutors. But shh, stay to the end, there's gonna be a special offer. Um, but first, a little bit about me. Um, my name's Ann Mitchell, like I mentioned. I am the owner of Castle Rock Online Reading Tutor, and I also am an IEP consultant. Um, previously, I was a special education teacher and decided to start tutoring in 2013 and transitioned uh, entirely online in 2017. So this is my grandson right there. Um, but I live in Colorado and I have uh, an amazing four wonderful kids that are all grown and one grandson. I'm married and have a ball and welcome. So let's see. So comment below. I know Trello is big. I know a few tutors use this. Um, so if you have used Trello before or continue to use it, just comment below and let me know so I can see how many use it already. Um, thank you. Um, so Trello, this is a picture of my iPad. Um, it includes workspaces, it includes boards, cards, and you can use it for your business organization or content creation to hold all your videos or um, blog posts or links or anything like that. Um, I just think it's amazing. I don't lose anything. And I recently even made a board for my household um, things because Colorado recently has had a big fire. Um, and there was over a thousand homes lost within a matter of hours. So I just figured if I could create something with my home household and put um, our policies and everything, it could be right there on, on the phone. So like I mentioned before, you can use it on your iPad. I use it on my phone. Um, you can use it on your desktop or laptop. So it's, it's well organized. Um, whoops, back. We don't need to go back. Um, so the first thing I wanted to explain was workspaces. Workspaces are like a general, like coaching or content creation or email or even my new one, household goods. Um, it's a way of organization and it will help separate everything. So at the end of my presentation, I'll share my screen and go into my Trello board and I will show you all these little spaces, okay? Um, so I'm not going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, let's see. So, and then the boards are inside each of the uh, workspaces. So you can create up to 10 boards on the free version of Trello. Um, if you want to create like a board and then I know you've seen them out there where people sell them or give them away, um, you would need a paid account. Um, also, if you have uh, a VA or someone like that, and you want to bring them on, you would have to pay 
also for that. So, but to create any kind of organization system for yourself, I think it's wonderful. Uh, the next thing is within the boards, there's cards, and I'm not talking about flashcards like this, but inside each board, you can create cards, and each card is um, movable. You can archive it, and again, I will um, share my boards and my workspaces at the end of my presentation. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so organizing your online business. So when you organize your business in Trello, you can make it all yours. You can delete things, you can change things around. Um, I have a friend that does a voice message to herself and puts it in brainstorm in one of her um, Trello boards. Uh, and then when she goes back, and reviews her brainstorming. She can listen to what she says because she says talking is a lot easier than texting. So um, you can do that on your phone. Um, I'm not sure how, you, how she does that, but I can find out. Um, also, you can, in Trello, you can also start projects like uh, for blog posts. You can brainstorm your ideas. You can do a next board and or a next column, and I'll show this all to you. And um, move cards around, and in the process, you published it or archived it. So next, so let's review the workspaces, the boards, the cards organizing your online business. It's really that simple. So let me stop sharing this and go over and share my Trello board. And this is, usually I pop in here my business info pretty frequently. So I just keep that up on top. Um, the ones that I view recently um, usually comes up on top, like your content plan usually, or blog post ideas. Um, and these are all the workspaces. You can label them your own. I have one coaching, one content creation, one for email and email sequences. One for my business, which includes my business info. And this is where I put my household information, the new board I was talking about. And then one that's just my workspace, um, like a new student, or if I decide to hire a new tutor, um, you never know. Um, then my IP coaching, and then Let's see, so those are all the workspaces. Within all these workspaces are the boards. These are all the separate boards. Um, and then let me go into my business info and just to share. So my business info covers my branding, which you can have your the number or the colors that you use in here. You can have um, your headshot, your logo I put in here and my logos on my um, Google Drive. So I just put the link in there. Um, and then all my important links to like my website, email, ConvertKit, my Facebook, community, Instagram, Pinterest, and all the social media links, um, passwords. Um, this is my work in progress um, theme. So this is what I'm going to do next, because when I developed that household thing, I said, well, maybe I should have all my passwords. That way, 
if something were to happen to me, at least all my information for my business would be in the Trello board, okay? Um, this is some money revenue that I projected, uh, programs that you use in, in your business are some of these programs. And I'm, again, a work in progress to put how much that they are yearly or monthly, whatever I pay, um, affiliate links, testimonials, freebies, that's like my newsletter pop up, my Trello form, um, and then any courses that I wanted to, um, there's my overwhelm to organize. <laughs> um, and then any social media, if you have team members and our podcasts, and this is the one I shared with the reading project for Ashley and Sam. So that is, and then you can add another list and let's see, um, I'll just put next. So this is my ne next list and then you can add a card. So let's just do first and add a card first, last, and add a card. And then all these cards, you're able to move around to different lists. Um, you can, when you hit that little pencil, you can archive it. Um, when you open the card, you have activities that you can do. You can make the description like um, next. These are next tasks. Um, and then save. Um, you can add attachments from either your Google Drive or Dropbox, OneDrive. Um, if you have any members that you want to add, you can do that. Um, the cover is just a picture or something you can add to the cover so that you know that it's important. Um, you can edit that. Open card. Um, labels and you can say let's see the green one could be tasks um, save so all the green ones if you put a green one in somewhere else they could all be labeled as tasks um so and then the dates, you can assign like today's date, and then you could assign it to be done a due date. So that's what, and then it will come up as a reminder for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just archive this list. And this is all of my business info and of course everything in your business is a work in progress so i'm working on this um so let me stop sharing and if you again if you have any questions while i'm here i am happy to answer them anything on trello so let me stop sharing and go back to my slides. So again, we covered workspaces, boards, cards, and how to organize your business. Um, so if you have any questions, I'm here to answer them. Um, and this is how you can contact me. I've got a Facebook page and Instagram. So, um, so 
what I'd like to share with everybody here is a Trello board for tutors or teachers. And this will give you a copy of my business one. So you can set up your own um, Trello board. Let me see. There we go. I clicked it. And I don't know if it's going to work. There we go. So it'll come bring you to here. So you sign up for it. You want a copy of it. So that's where it will bring you to. And then let me share what you get. Share screen. And this is my business page. But let me go down to my templates. And the Trello for Tutors is right here. So um, you fill out that um, sign up form, and then this will get sent to you. Um, once you have this on, but first you have to create a Trello account. Um, and then you go to the show menu and this will show you how to copy the board. Um, right here, you click that little carrot and more. And I don't have it listed here, but it will say copy the board. So you will just click and copy the board. Once you copy the board, change the name for yourself just say my business or something or something funny, creative. So then you have the opportunity of changing the background. You have colors, you have photos, um, whatever you would like to change it to. So I wish you the best getting your business or program organized. You have all of um, the brands, the passwords, the links, the programs that you may use, um, money. All you have to do is like first quarter, I just made it into four different quarters on mine. You got affiliate links, testimonials, any courses that you want to add there, um, your favorite websites freebies and your favorite podcasts and don't forget to put um ashley's in there so this is yours once you sign up there on your freebie and let me stop sharing again if you have any questions right now um i will be happy to answer them and i hope you have a wonderful day and